Welcome back to Stuff They Should Taught You in School. I'm Monsui. I do these videos because something weird happened in school. I couldn't quite get around my uh, head around it. And um, just this mentality is fucked. Um, and then I started <clears throat> learning more stuff. Managed to gain financial freedom in my early 20s. Then lost it again. And then now I'm working my way back up there. So, today's episode, Comparison is a Thief of Joy. And this is the reality. Comparison is removes joy. If you compare yourself to other people, maybe you won't have joy. So what does this actually mean? What does it mean? Well, everyone has a personal journey. Everyone's path in life is different. Everyone has been dealt a different set of cards to start with. And comparing yourself to others, comparing yourself to others can often lead to feelings of inadequacy or discontent, unhappiness, this kind of thing. But I always look at it, you always sit in the middle, right? You, there are people there that have done more and they're younger. There are people that have done less and they're older. The people there that make more money, they got better, um, can lift more weights, can lift less weights. You sit in the middle. So the people that are above you in whatever respect you want to say, you look at that and you say, OK, that's inspiring to get to that point. And then there's people that are below to whatever comparison you want to use. And there you are grateful that you have come past that point in your life. Um, one of the biggest kickers of this sort of thing is social the social media illusion. Comparing your life to others based on social media, uh, that completely ignores all of the struggles and challenges for the most part that others face behind the scenes. You just don't see that. You literally just see a 2D version of someone that they only show their best foot forward. It's like, you know, when you go to work and you have uh, colleagues that you work with, they often will... You won't see the bad side to them often until shit hits the van. Um, and this is the same in social media, is that they are conscious of what they're putting out into the world. <clears throat> so they want to make sure that it is perfect and all this stuff, although perfection doesn't exactly exist. Um, so you just see what they have chosen for you to see. It's like, you know, it's also like, you know, an interview where you go in and you just show good you just show the good part of you regardless of what all the pain that's happened in the past and the thing is is people can be in a certain position so say like you know i'm a um a solicitor say i'm a solicitor i've been in a solicitor game for 10 years say i look at some other solicitor who's also been in the game for 10 years maybe they're the same age as me maybe they come from the same background as me but they have their own firm or they make more money than me now, money does not equate to happiness. Happiness is more in your head. Money is more out in the world, right? So it's, um, you know, we do have the cliche, money doesn't buy happiness. Although I guess it does help because if you have a bit of money, then you're not struggling and stressed about the day to day and paying bills and so on. So really, instead of comparing ourselves to others we want to compare ourselves to ourselves and focus on self-growth so that true fulfillment comes from focusing on your own growth on your own values and your own achievements rather than constantly measuring yourself against others so it's the i'm going to do 10 press ups a day and then this time next week i'm going to be able to do 15 or maybe i just i'm going to be able to do 11 that guy over there can do 120 push-ups i didn't give a shit Yesterday I could do 10, today I can do 11. Last week I could do 10, and this week I can do 11. Next week I can do 12, and so on. So, really, look, it's, I want to say comparison is a thief of joy. But, like I say, you really sit in the middle. You should be grateful when you see others that have less than you, and inspired when you see others that have more. But having more money, whatever it is, more uh, strength, you know, it's not always, I don't know if you've ever looked at someone that's made more money than you or is in a better position than you, that you perceive to be in a better position. Now, if you were to actually be in their life, 
Would you prefer that? Do you know there's a saying? If everyone stood in a room, or if you stood around all these, everyone that you are maybe jealous of, or that you think are doing better than you, and so on, and everyone stood around you, and you stood there as well, and you all threw all your problems up into the air, and guarantee, and you look up, and you can see all your problems in the air, you can see all their problems in the air, you can see everyone's problems up in the air. I guarantee you would fight to take your own problems back. Because we really don't know what other people are going through. We really don't know the struggles, the pains that people have gone through. And when you see like, oh, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe someone younger you, younger than you is driving a better car than you. What have they realistically gone through to go to get to that? Maybe it's mommy, daddy's money. Maybe it's not. Maybe they've actually worked really hard. Maybe they've like, I know people personally that have sacrificed decades. They haven't gone to parties, they haven't got drunk, they haven't done any of that stuff in their early, you know, in their teen, late teens, early 20s and stuff. They haven't done any of that because they're just focused on the goal. And then now, 10, 15 years later, maybe you look at them and you say, oh, um, you know, they're younger than me or they're my age and they've got more than me or they got a nicer car. Why, why, why? Well, sacrifice is why, for the most part. And don't forget that most millionaires are actually self-made. Most million, most, if, the thing is, is to get to a point of making money. It's not just about making the money, it's also about keeping and managing the money. If uh, you were handed down a large sum of money, and you didn't know how to manage it, you didn't make it yourself, you weren't taught how to manage it and maintain it, you're likely to lose it. This is why most lottery winners actually go broke after they lose the lottery. If you follow them like a year later, two years later, they go broke. They end up in worse debt than they were before because they think they, they don't know how to manage it. If you're getting a thousand pound every single month and you're in uh, debt and you're going out and drinking beers and all this stuff, how the hell are you supposed to manage 10,000 pound a month? You won't be able to. Um, so let's, let's go through a couple of examples here. Um, so com career comparison, someone might feel unsuccessful when comparing themselves to a peer with a higher salary, but not considering essentially all those sacri sacrifices that the person has made, or even perhaps the different values that they hold and the different goals that they have in mind. Another really good example is fitness. Comparing your fitness program to someone else's can be discouraging, especially if they are you know, lifting higher weights and stuff like that. But really, we need to be looking at your own progress. Don't stop looking at other people. Mind your own business. This is a really good saying. Mind your own business. And it works in two ways. Is the business that you have, mind that. And the business that you have could just be a PAY job, i.e. going 9 to 5 and stuff like that. And the business that you have could be your family, dynamics, problems in your family. Mind that, as in mind it, you know, look after it. The other side of that is mind your own business, um, as in don't look at other people's business, right? Mind your own business. Stay, keep your nose out of other people's shit. Because very often people maybe make money, maybe they can lift more weights than you, maybe they can get the girl or the guy or whatever it is, or they have the nice car. But they're in shit. We're all in shit. And the difference is that you know, this is my own shit that I'm in, and that's their own shit. If I'm going to jump into their shit, it's going to stink a lot more than mine. Some people really seemingly see no progress for decades. Decades. A decade is 10 years, of course. And when I say decades, I do mean decades. I mean 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Seemingly no pro progress. Then suddenly, loads of success. And then you can view them at any point in their life and learn from them because it's a learning experience. And this is what we look at is exponential growth. So let's get some practical tips here to, we can maybe understand now that um, comparison is a thief of joy or rather comparison to other people is a thief of joy. Um, 
we can understand some examples we can understand that really we actually sit in the middle and we look at one side and we're grateful and the other side and we're us inspired so some practical tips here is limit social media use and avoid those constant comparisons to other people that maybe would lead to um, feelings of inadequacy. Celebrate your own wins, regularly acknowledge and celebrate your own achievements, no matter how small. And these, that sort of stuff builds self-confidence. Practice gratitude every day. Focus on what you have and, <coughs> and appreciate your own unique journey. Appreciate that and practice gratitude every day learn from others and ask what what can you learn to improve or get to where you think you want to be what can you learn from other people now often we get to a position and um you know that we've wanted to get to i've had this for years even decades we got into that position what happens fuck all seriously fuck all you feel worse once you achieve that than working towards it and this is comes back to the the definition i like of success which actually so happens to be the same definition that i like of happiness and the definition of both of these words success and happiness is a progressive realization towards a worthy ideal so we want to ask those questions from others, ask those questions when we're looking at other people. What what can I learn from this? What can I learn from this? Not, oh, he has that car, must be a drug dealer and all this bullshit. Oh, they must have done something illegal to get that much money. Accept the fact that we really are dealt different hands, like hands of cards. At, and, you know, we have these different, um, get, get dealt these different hands, um, at birth and there's nothing we can do but make best use out of our hand and provide a better hand to your family your future family and your kids there's no point jumping up and down and, uh, and you know getting pissed off that your hands are not as good as someone else's because like i say their hands are covered in shit and your hands are covered in shit anyway and the difference is they I guarantee you again like look if you saw everyone else's problems you would probably rush to go and take yours on and the reality is is that people who make more money they often have more problems they have more stress and but they are able to deal with that because they've built up to it right so suddenly going back to that lottery thing suddenly coming into a load of wealth everyone's asking you for some money here there and everywhere then you're like oh shit anyway see you on the next episode